Turkey has pulled out of an international accord designed to protect women from domestic violence and promote equality. The Council of Europe Accord is known as the Istanbul Convention. Turkey was the first signatory in 2011. Dozens of nations and the EU followed suit. Government officials say domestic law rather than outside fixes should deal with women's rights and conservatives in Turkey say the agreement threatens family values. A women's right group recorded at least 300 femicides in the country last year. Well, for more on this, I'm joined by our Turkey correspondent Yulia Han, who's at a protest rally in Istanbul. Yulia, tell us what you're hearing from the women who are there today. Well, there is a lot of anger and outrage here on the streets in Istanbul today. Women are protesting against President Erdogan's decision to withdraw from the so-called Istanbul Convention, a landmark international treaty designed to protect women from gender-based violence. And when this news broke today, earlier in the morning, uh, that President Erdogan, by decree, decided to annul the ratification of this treaty, Women's rights groups started to organize on social media, calling for nationwide protests. So this is one of them there. You can see right behind me, hundreds, if not thousands of women came here to gather and to tell the government that they are against this decision, especially, as they say, at a time when we're seeing skyrocketing rates of gender-based mm. violence here in Turkey. Domestic violence is on the rise, according to rights groups. And so, as you mentioned, is the number of feminists sides. Mm. Well, I mean, conservatives say that the agreement, which is designed to protect women, in fact, threatens family values. I mean, is that the official reason? Is that President Erdogan's reason? Why has Turkey withdrawn from this accord? Well, in fact, when Turkey signed the Istanbul Convention here in Istanbul in 2011, it was seen as a breakthrough in terms of gender equality. But the discussion here, the debate has completely changed. Last year, uh, senior politicians and President Erdogan's conservative Islamist rooted AKP started to argue that this convention uh, encourages, as they said, immoral lifestyles like homosexuality. They were met with massive protests by uh, women. But now it seems uh, President Erdogan that's what observers say, bowed into the pressure coming from hardliners in his ruling coalition. So he is trying to re-energize the conservative voter base, amid, voter base amid an economic downturn. So that's what observers say. That has domestic reasons what we're seeing here right now. Are the government not worried about unrest that this decision could provoke? Well, uh, this, uh, these protests are definitely not going to go away. I mean, we're expecting more of them, I guess, in the next days and weeks to come, because even conservative women told me that they're in favor of this Istanbul Convention. So there must be some kind of political rationale here for President Erdogan to come up with this decision at this time. All right, Yulia, thank you. Turkey correspondent Yulia Han in Istanbul.